Hey coach, so glad you found us. Couple things, first of all, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please, please go over and do that. That will keep you updated with everything that we're doing. Second thing is go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who wanna get better. If you wanna put hardware in your basement, if you wanna win more games, let me help you do that. I will give you my personal email address. We'll do one-on-one -on -one calls. We'll do office hours, less than a dollar a day, 14 day free trial. Go over and check it out. Let's head off to the video. All right, so. You're going to you're going to go screen for him. Let's do this one. All right, and you're going to pop up here and get the ball right here. You're going to get the ball right here. All right? You are going to set a screen for the for him coming in. You two are going to you're going to pop down and set a double screen for him coming in. All right? Now you two are going to play a two-man game. So you just set a screen for him. Now you're going to set a screen for him. Now you got to read this player. Do I want him to drive to the middle? Is that guy going to go to the corner? Do I want to do the two-man game? So it's basically, what I do is I like to isolate at the end of a game. So basically, we want, in 2011, we won a state title. Um, literally, I think, the best high school game I've ever seen. I think we hit four winning shots, end of regulation, end of the first overtime, and a, and a kid that's going to go, I don't know where he's going to go. He's going to go to Division I, but hit a shot with three seconds to go. The same kid hit, hit free throws with no time. It's unbelievable. If you, if you go on, on YouTube and type in um, 2011 state, I mean, it was unbelievable. And all the shots he got were off a screen. We basically set a screen for him and let him read it. And they helped, and they did recovery, and he just boom, boom, and then he got fouled. And, um, so I think an isolation like that is really good. You want the two right guys setting the screen and with the ball. Um, but it's a really good, you know, misdirection. You got this guy coming off the double screen opposite. They're going to worry about this shot, all right, or the rollback. And then you got the, you got the two guys kind of playing that two-man game. All right, so do that again. <clears throat> Set that screen. Good. Here, ball screen, double ball screen, two-man game. Now, think about what I said 40 seconds ago or a couple minutes ago. Who does all, everyone always forget? They forget the inbounder. What are we running this play for? The inbounder. So the other coach is thinking, it's kind of like a piece of, you're like you're playing chess. Okay. They yell, he's probably telling them in that timeout, watch for the inbounder. They're going to throw it to the inbounder. We got to take care of them. Well, what's going to happen? They're all going to swarm toward number three there after he gets the ball back in. And now we got a two-man game and those, you know, if we can get a good shot off a screen and a roll, we're in, we're in good shape. All right, one more time, and then we'll run that live. All right, ready? Go. Good. Flash. Good. Single screen, double screen, two-man game. Okay? Now, you can read that two-man game whatever way you want. If you need a two, you can run it lower. If you need a three, <coughs> all right, come back up here. Who had the ball? And you guys would give him the ball. You go. You clear out. Okay. So let's say we need a two. We set that screen in here. Great, we can get a little maybe off the bank. That's what Brendan hit to, to win ours. A little bit off the bank. Or he can get a, you know, the screen and the, and the flash back. That's an option. The second option is let's say we need a three. Okay? What's, a, what's the best way to get a three? Not yet, to, to, to screen and flare, right? If I, there are many high school kids that can do this and hit a three. That's pretty hard, there are, but it's a hard thing to take, to win a game off the dribble and hit a three. But if I'm defending, what am I gonna do? You go that way. I'm gonna stop and hedge, you flare back up, that guy's gonna be open every time. Take it to the bank, I guarantee it. It's gonna be the guy setting the screen, all right? They're, they're gonna help because they don't want that guy to hit the three coming off the screen. One little flare, Boom. It's a, great, it's a great counter that people don't use enough. All right? So let's pretend we need a three-pointer, and let's do that little flare and look for him for a three. All right. Good. Screen. Good. We need a three-pointer. Good. Cut. Three. Ten seconds. About ten seconds you need to do that. That's a good ten, sec ten to twelve-second drill. Um, if you have less than ten... You maybe got to do the first one I did or something like that as a side out of bounds. You probably need 10 to, 10 to 12. Um, I don't remember. 
I don't know if it was uh, Homer Drew. It was somebody that always said, and I've always remembered this. He says, it's basically a dribble a second. Okay, a dribble. If you got two seconds, you can make one dribble. If you got five seconds, you can basically take four dribbles. It's usually about a dribble a second. And it's always been true. Ever since I heard it, it stuck with me. Um, but especially when you're going in the full court and there's 3.2 seconds, I'll, I'll literally, in the timeout, tell my guys, you got two dribbles. If you got, after the second dribble, you got to let it fly because if you take that third dribble, the buzzer is going to sound. So it's a dribble a second. That's a, you, you will not, if, you, if you remember one thing, remember that because you won't get burned. And you'll get the shot off. And you gotta, if you don't get the shot off, you, don't gotta, you, know, you can't win. So at least you got a chance to win, um, especially those long. Hey, Coach, so glad you enjoyed the video. Subscribe and like, and go over and check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better.